Hi guys, we What's are happening? back with another video. Um, we wanted to do something a little bit different um, this time. The last couple of weeks, we've really enjoyed uh, getting to see you guys on Zoom and yeah, really nice. being able to just connect with you guys and have fun talking and um, yeah, things like that. So, but we wanted to uh, try to do a mix. I know we had talked to you guys about you know what you liked better and you kind of liked the mix. So um, we thought tonight we would kind of uh, change up how we did a video though in that we kind of just want to have a conversation um, of just uh, how we're all doing and how what Tom and I are, are learning through all of this and um, just how God's using us so you're kind of gonna get a little bit of a taste of what I don't know what we talk about what we talk about <laughs> just more of an intimate um, intimate dialogue of the inner workings of Tamanda <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah, what have you been learning? You think in in all of this, and what's God been showing you? Yeah, it's been it's been really good. Just having time to get into God's Word, yeah. and um, you know, one of the things I read oh a couple weeks ago that's really stuck with me um, was Nehemiah eight verse three, and it talks about. I'll just read it. It says, Ezra the priest, he read it out loud from daybreak till noon as he faced the square before the water gate in the presence of all the men, women, and others who could understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. You know, and I read that and I was just like, that's over four hours of people listening. You know, not just listening, listening attentively right. to God's word. And, you know, I struggle to pay attention to the whole 40 minute sermon on Sunday that's broadcast on Facebook Live, right. or, um, you know, when I listen to a podcast, I'm doing dishes, you know, yeah. I'm not attentively listening, and so True. it just struck me, like, imagine everyone, all, if all of Williamsville, if all of Buffalo gathered from mm -hmm. daybreak to noon right. to just That's hear God's thing. word, you know, right. and wanted to hunger for it, and, right. you know, it really just challenged me, like, am I hungry for God's word? Mm -hmm. I've, I've got the time now. Right. Um, I've got, you know, three or four Bibles in the house. We've got cell phones. We've got podcasts. We've got right. all these avenues to God's word. Um, but how hungry am I to right. get it? And then am I actually listening attentively? Right, because we uh, can watch four hours of Netflix. Easy. You know, <laughs> and pay attention to it. But can we pay attention to God's word? Yeah, you know, and just with distractions and everything. So it really was con convicting on, can I give God my everything? Can I mm. pursue him? Like, is he worth it? Right. Right? Like, it was worth it to these people. They realize now they have just come out of, um, or they've gone into bondage. They've been slaves. They haven't heard God's word for so long. So there was an absence and a void, and, and they were hungry for it. Um, but we have even less excuse because we have it around us. Mm. Right? Like, it sh it's still God's word. It should still be just as important, whether I've not ever been in it for 150 years or I got in it yesterday. Right, it should still be drawing me in right. for my attention, um, and so really trying to work more on giving God my full attention. Mm. Um, it's been great waking up early to go in the basement and just read God's word yeah. in the Bible, not on my phone where a text right. message comes up or Facebook, but to just focus attentively on His yeah. word. I know, even though He doesn't have to wake up to make a commute to work, He still has been faithfully waking up like five. 5.30 in the morning, sometimes even earlier, yeah. just so he can have some time to pray and not have to take away time from us and the kids, which I think is really honorable and um, yeah. just awesome. Yeah, it's been, it's been hard. Let's be sleep in because <laughs> try to take the Lord kids. Lord knows I need that sleep. <laughs> um, just recently I started doing it on weekends, trying to get yeah. up early as much as I love being able to sleep in and the kids come in. Um, I don't get to get in the Word on the right. weekends and so I've, I've realized if God's important if he's going to have all of my attention weekends aren't a day off I would not talk to you for the weekend mm, yeah. you know you're my bride I want to be right. with you f as much as I can right um, and the Lord deserves even more mm. of my attention yeah so how about for you how is it how's it been going yeah I think one of the cool things um, we talked about this in in one of the zoom meetings um, was getting the chance to watch the Chosen series yeah. and how that really brought to life so many of the people um, in the Bible and you know you kind of even though you know they obviously take creative liberties 
as far as conversations yes, and storylines yeah. yep. and things like that, it still really gave you a glimpse of people, you know, and what they were going through and, and maybe what they were feeling. And, and that was really cool for me because I also had my eyes open to be like, wow, do I actually know the Bible? <laughs> like, I've heard what? it for so long and I've heard so many stories and you watch different movies that all of a sudden you're like, oh, is that fact? Like, did that actually happen? Right. Was, that, 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 was that artistic is? liberty or is that right. really what the Bible says? Right. And, and yeah. just like, you know, even looking through the, the Gospels and being like, you know, uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John weren't actually all disciples. <laughs> Only Matthew and John were, you know, and, and looking and being like, well, who was Mark then? And who was Luke? And, you know, almost be, being like a little embarrassed because like I've been a Christian my whole life and it's like, do I know these things? Like, do I know the word, you yeah. know? And so it's, it's caused me to be like, I want to, I, I want to know the word. I want to know what God says. And, you know, I was feeling, um, a little convicted because I was like going to my, you know, Bible app reading plan and seeing I was, you know, like 15 days behind in this like <laughs> one plan. I was trying yeah. to do the Bible, like the entire Bible in three years. And, um, and I was stuck in Leviticus, and I'm not gonna lie, I was, you know, that's probably why I'm like 15 days behind because I just was like, oh Lord, yeah, help <laughs> Leviticus me. Leviticus <laughs> is such a struggle, um, you know, and like really realizing that yes, even though like I want to get through the entire Bible, and I have before, you know, a couple of times, um, what's more important in the season that I'm in right now is that I'm I'm fed and that I'm yeah. spiritually getting something every day and so for me if I only have time you know to read one chapter if I'm not getting it from Leviticus like right. I should Why try yeah. to get something else so I was like you know what I need to kind of lay down a little bit of my pride and realize this just isn't going to work for the season that I'm in yeah. And, and just be like, you know what, I just want to be in my word. And I want to just, you know, I don't want to ignore parts of the Bible because obviously it's in there for a reason. Yeah. Um, but there's other parts that I need to be in. You know, so looking at some, some other plans on the Bible app that are, you know, going to be filling to me. But also realizing that, yeah, just opening up my actual Bible and reading it from the word. Um, is yeah. just so beneficial and you know one of the things that I love about I love tea, well, thank you um, I love having my nightly and morning tea <laughs> poor John though he can't handle hot mugs um, you know one of the things that I love about my Bible and I know your Bible um, is like this too is that it gives a lot of um, information about the author and the history and the context and you know some of the things that um, are just good to know, you know, and so yeah. I've really enjoyed some of that stuff like just reading through and and seeing Okay, well, what was the context of what was happening behind this and who did write this and oh? They're not exactly sure about this and you know And so things like that are just really important But also just being able to flip through like after we watch the chosen being able to go through all of the accounts of um, you know the Gospels to look at okay, like you know, which person added this and what did yeah. they say about this? And, you know, just some like different things that I learned from that um, and that I'm continuing to learn has just kind of, yeah, opened my eyes to be like, you know what? It's not about, you know, how many plans you finish or I know you were talking to me about like how many days of a streak you can have. Yeah. Um, it's about really retaining the word and actually um, allowing it to feed you daily. Yeah, it, it, it's funny you say that. I've, um, I think there's pride in all of us in the U version Bible app. Yeah, you know, it's such I, a great resource. But... Fantastic, and I love you know the catch me up button, right? So because I don't want to be behind, I don't ever want to be behind. Yes, we know that. I know that well. And um, but you know the I had a, a long streak going, and and my pride started coming up, and uh, years ago, and this is embarrassing, but if I missed a day, but I read it at after midnight. I'd reset the date on my phone just so it, I didn't miss a day in the app. Um, silly, you know, and uh, just a couple weeks ago, I, same thing happened. I missed a day, but I was reading my physical Bible and like, it was a small thought. I, 
And then it was like, no, that's silly. Right. And like just overcoming the pride of it's not about the streaks or the plans, right? It's about getting in God's word. And, yeah. You know, I love in Matthew, um, Jesus gives the parable, we all know it, um, the wise man and the foolish man, right? Building their house on the solid foundation or in mm -hmm. sand. And I just love it. In Matthew 7, 24, he says, everyone who hears my teaching and applies it to his life can be compared to a wise man who built his house on an unshakable foundation. Mm -hmm. And I love that because it's not just hearing God's word. It's not just reading it. Uh, it's not just listening to sermons and podcasts. It's applying it to our life. If we're not applying it to our lives, we've missed it. Right. You know, if, if we want to be on an unshakable foundation, going through all of this, you know, right. we've not been really phased by this. Um, it's a pandemic. It's going crazy. But we're on an unshakable foundation because we've allowed God's word to come into our lives and then we've applied it. Right. And um, just being challenged more on, on can I be applying God's word to my life more? Yeah. I think it's hard as we've had a, a walk as Christians God's brought up a lot of the big baggage. Right. So it's easy to go on autopilot and be like, well, I'm not as you know bad as I once was. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not about that. It's about am I getting in God's word and letting it apply to my life. Um, right. So yeah, I started reading a book, um, Extreme Mind Makeover. It's mm -hmm. talking about meditating on God's word and they compared it to a cow. Mm -hmm. And a cow will chew grass. Um, it goes into its first stomach and then throughout the day it pulls it back up I don't know how it works. It's kind of gross. Chews it again, gets more nutrition out of it. It goes into the second stomach and on and on to the fourth stomach. And it's this all day process. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, That's super gross. But if we're going to meditate on God's word, as the author was saying, what you read in the morning, you should be recalling and chewing on throughout mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I realize, and, and to you guys, did you read your Bible today? What'd you read? Right? What stood out? Right. You know, and um, and I, I know I read in Romans today, and it's like, you know, Romans one sixteen. I know. Mm. I know because I know it. I don't know because I just read it this morning. And mm. so am I, am I chewing on God's word throughout the day? Am I, right. am I applying it to my life? Mm. And really just wanting to grow in that during this time of, yeah. um, it's not about, we should all read through the Bible. We should get through it and do the plans. But like you said, I want to go where my soul is going to be fed right. and then I want to chew on it all day yeah. and I want to think about it and, yeah. and let it change me. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's important. And again, we have so many resources, you know, um, for me, I've been just watching different YouTube videos, you know, yeah. of, of different preachers or couples, um, being able to share their stories and testimonies. And, um, I just got really into watching Jeremy camp because, um, we watched the movie, I Still, Still Believe, Believe, which, oh my gosh, it was such yeah. a good movie. Um, such a tearjerker. Um, and, you know, getting to, to kind of see um, his perspective of things about just loss and, and life and how do you cope with that. And, um, and so just things like that have been really interesting for me because, again, sometimes the best lessons we can learn are from other people, yeah. you know, and... And God uses other people to teach us, right? Like that's the word. You know, we're yeah. we're we're living our Christian life because of what other people went through, and we're able to read about it. So for me, um, I get a lot when I can read other people's testimonies. You know, I feel yeah. like we all kind of have that, right? We're like, you know, our testimony night for basic. Like that's always like the best night because it's just so awesome to hear what other people have overcome, yeah. and so. Um, and so for me, yeah, just again, recognizing that my walk and what I learned doesn't have to look like everyone else, you know, like even like you, you know, and recognizing that, um, that I have to find what works for me so that I yeah. can be fed as long as I'm actually doing something, you know, and yeah. not just putting it off, which I can easily put it off because it's, just, you know, the day starts and we've got stuff to do and. I'll get to it later, and then later doesn't happen, and, yeah. you know, so just recognizing that it's just so important to make that time and find something that's going to work, whether it's a podcast, whether it's YouTube, whether it's your Word, whether it's the U version app, you know, but just yeah. finding something that um, that daily you're going to be fed by. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I love that you said um, watching or hearing other people's testimonies, mm -hmm. you know, to all of us that... No one knows it if we don't share it. Yeah. 
you know, so who can we encourage this week right. with a part of our testimony? You know, yeah. what has God done in my life this year, this week, you know, this morning right. uh, that we can encourage people with? Because right. if we don't share what God's doing, then people think God is dead. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. But to constantly hear testimonies of, of just is encouraging. Right. Like, yeah, and Lord, you're still vulnerable. alive. being vulnerable. Yeah. You know, being vulnerable to say, like, I don't know. And, like, sometimes I feel this way. And, you know, one of the things we had talked about at our Zoom meeting last week was, you know, my struggle with, um, God, like, sometimes the things you do just don't make sense. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I just don't understand, like, why you would do it that way. You know? And um, I actually saw this video clip today um, from Billy Graham where um, he was talking about how Habakkuk asked God the same question, and God said, Habakkuk, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me anyways. <laughs> you know? So and like, true, yeah. And, and understanding that, and, and also recognizing that, like, it, it doesn't change God's love and faithfulness for us, um, you know, if we know all the answers and we know what it is. And we have to ask ourselves the same question is, does our love and faithfulness change mm. if we know how it's going to end and we know how it goes you yeah. know because no matter what um yeah you have to know are you still going to be faithful if this doesn't go the way you want it to go right and that's sometimes a hard question and sometimes you have to be going through something to really be able to answer it because i could say right now yeah of course but when you're in it yeah that's when it really matters yeah but again like you said you have to be able to have that foundation yeah, and I, as you were saying that, I was just thinking about as parents, we can almost see the future of what our children are doing. They don't get it, yeah. right? When they start misbehaving and becoming selfish and they're not focused on what's around them, as loving parents, we see the interactions and the impacts of things mm -hmm. and we can speak to them and they don't get it. Why would you do this? I feel cheated. I feel robbed. Right. But we're looking at a bigger picture and to them, to us, it's like... God, this doesn't seem right. This would have been good for me. Right. Even if it's not uh, damaging other people, right? It's just selfish. We want what's best for us, what yeah. seems easiest. And God's looking at the big picture in this loving way, you know, as we do with our kids. And, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make sense in the moment, right. you know, until we get older and, and we're all children. We're all still growing and maturing yeah. and, um, you know, we got to stay faithful. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us conversation with me babe yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah and again um we just we're, we're praying for you guys we're believing um that we're gonna be able to hopefully all see each other <laughs> again at some point um but we also just hope that this is um an intimate way for you to understand that we're not perfect yeah. we have things that we're struggling through but we also have things that we're learning through and that at every stage in your life we we always need to be learning um, so get in your word, figure out how you want to, um, be fed every day. You yeah. know, you guys have so much on your plate with school and trying to do online things. Um, but just make sure that you're setting that, that time apart. And if it does require you getting up early, then do it because I know, I know it's worth it. Um, yeah. and I know it, it's, it's necessary. So we love you guys. We hope this yeah, is love you guys. helpful and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Yep.